back to another video. So today I'm going to be making the birria tacos from the Food 52 recipe, but I am changing it a little bit. Um, so you know I do food videos on this channel. My name is Ara. I teach cooking classes and I try to do different videos every day um, using Food 52 for at least a month. And then um, I also do like fun challenges like Dollar Tree videos, but take a look at my other videos. They're all below and I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have this meat here and it's, it is a chop roast. And in here I have sesame seeds, um, salt, oregano, and then I have, instead of the cumin seeds, I'm doing ground cumin, ground allspice, and ground clove. And I'm just going to put that all over the meat. And then I'm going to put this in um, my pressure cooker on sear, and I'm going to sear the meat. So it calls for half a gallon of water, but I'm going to use... Um, just gonna focus this. This is chicken stock that I made a couple days ago. So I'm gonna do a pint of chicken stock in there. I'm also gonna do one package of the guajillos. It calls for 20, but I'm not using the whole thing because this gets kind of spicy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do like one package of guajillos. So I'm gonna like de-stem these and add them in. I'm gonna show you what um, the meat look like looks like after it's seared. So I have one whole onion, two bay leaves, and then five garlic cloves, all whole, and I'm going to add that into my meat. Okay, so all I'm doing is like, I'm just taking it, taking these off before I put it in. Okay, I'm just going to put it all in the bowl, and then I'm going to shred it, and then add it in. I have this all cut up. I just kind of took scissors and cut them to make it easier. And here is my instant pot. You can do this in just a regular pot. I have this in a pot. I have it on the sear setting. I'm just going to toss this side up. Kind of get some of the fat off of it. Let that cook for a little bit until they're all brown. Okay, so I have all the meat is mostly brown. I'm gonna add in my pint of stock. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is put it on pressure cook. And then before I go to yoga, I'm gonna put it on slow cook for like four hours. Okay, so I've taken all the meat out. Here's all the juice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a blender and blend everything together. And then cook the meat in the puree. So I just pureed the liquid in here. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. And then I'm going to cook it back in my pressure cooker, my slow fast cooker, um, with the meat. This is... This is what the meat looks like. I'm just gonna um, like shred it up and then put the meat back in the pot. Okay, really neat trick is if you, it looks like chocolate pudding right now. It's actually meat, but if you take a mixer, a hand mixer, you can actually like shred your meat this way so instead of just doing it by hand. You can do this with chicken too. So what I'm going to do is I have this wok ready because I'm actually going to go ahead and dip my tortillas in here and then um, I'm going to put the meat inside to make the taco. So we'll see how this works out because I've never done it. Hopefully it's going to be, so I have this, they're just corn tortillas, and I have my oil heating up, so I'm going to dip it in there, I'm kind of scared, and, oh, I think that might work out actually, is you, what I see people do is they dip it, 
And then just gonna do like two of them. I think I did two at once. Oops. But I just want it like coated in that that oil. Gosh, it's a lot harder than it looks when you have a tripod going. But okay, so here is my taco. Taco. I thought if I could, I could probably do a couple of them at once. So can you take over? Take that. And then I have some quesadilla cheese. Enter my fan on. Okay, so I'm going to take my cheese. Hello, the Chihuahua cheese. I'm gonna put some here. And this is like the melty, big melty cheese. And then I have some meat like to the side. Okay, maybe it over some Don't overfill yours like I did. So here are the tacos. I have tomato, onion, and a little bit of cilantro in here. I see why they use so much water for the sauce, but like, you know, good. The meat's really soft. It's like almost, like has like this um, velvety flavor. Okay. I think actually that was one of the better recipes that I've tried. I did adjust it a little bit. So I'll link the recipe down below. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But thanks, guys, for watching another video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.